Well, we're about a week into the summer, and while most everyone is thinking about getting in vacation time, buyers and sellers are plotting their strategy in the ever-changing Massachusetts housing market. Latest numbers show year-to-date most things are pointing down. Anthony Lamacchia, owner and CEO of Lamacchia Realty, back with us this morning to help us sort out where things stand in the summer real estate market. And Anthony, always good to see you. You too, sir. Uh, we talk about things being down. Let's take a look at a graphic now that shows exactly what we're talking about, the information that you compiled here. Yep. And a lot of the numbers are pointing down compared to this time last year. Number of homes listed is down. A number of homes sold is down, although the average price, price is up. Uh, but about a point and a half. Yeah, a little bit. So what do you, what do you read? You see that, and what does that tell you? Listen, we are in a very odd situation. It's an early 1980s-like scenario where interest rates had gone up a lot then, and it made a lot of sellers say, wait a second, if I lose my home and I sell, I lose my rate. Everybody has, I don't want to lose my rate syndrome, and I don't blame a lot of them. Yeah. If you don't have to do it now, it's an easy thing to put off, because why does someone want to go from a 3% rate or a 2.8% rate to a 7% rate? So that's holding a lot of people from listing their homes. Now, what's interesting on those stats that we just showed is um, homes listed year to date is down 24%. If we compare to pre-COVID, you go back to 2019, homes listed for sales down over 40%. So we're in an you know, odd situation. And all related COVID. to rates, you think? Uh, mainly related to rates. I will tell you, the, the less homes that get listed, the less get listed because sellers don't see where they could go. So that also holds other people back because they go on Zillow, they go on various websites. They should just go on Lamakia.com, right? <laughs> but they go on those sites, they look around and they say, they're not seeing what they would buy. So then they said, well, I'll just hold back. Now we're in the season in the summer where they'll be able to see a little bit more because inventory comes up in the summer. But in the northern states here, it's only three, four months that inventory goes up a little. Right. So the rate, what are the rates now? They come down seven. a little bit, they stabilize. We're hovering seven. around wow. seven since about February. And, you know, I'll tell you, I got to give a shout out to my senior advisor, Jerry. He told me six months ago rates are not coming down anytime soon. Every mortgage expert out there said they'll go down, they'll be down to six or even below that by summer. They're hovering around seven. And until inflation comes down more, the Fed is not going to back off on what they're doing. And... We're going to have to put up with it for a while. All right, so people out there who are thinking uh, to buyers and sellers, yeah. first your advice for sellers, because okay. they're, the, they're they, you know, they've been reluctant to not yes. only to list because of rates, but generally the, I think the perception is, well, summer's not a great time to list your home to sell, which I know you don't agree with, because well, when you're ready to list, you list. Correct. The, the absolute best time of year to sell, February, March, April, best time of year to buy, summer and fall. But... When you're buying and selling at the same time, it's very scary to list in February or March because you don't, you're not able to see where you would go. There's not a lot of inventory available. Now there's more inventory. So if you're someone who's buying and selling at the same time, you have to get in contact with a realtor and talk to them about what that would look like. Just looking online, you're looking and seeing everything else everybody else is seeing. You're not seeing things that are coming up for sale that aren't listed yet. Right. You don't have advantages. As far as buyers go, a lot of buyers are stressed about rates, but I'll tell you, even with that, we have bidding wars still all over the place because there's just so little for sale. That's still happening. Absolutely still happening. Less than three months ago. Right. Bidding wars peak around March, April every year, so it's less, but many buyers are, they have angst about the rates, and they have to remember, the rate isn't going to be like this forever. If you can afford a mortgage payment uh, at today's rates, in a year or two when rates finally do come down, when, who knows when that is, maybe you know, <laughs> when, know. when that happens then you can refinance out of the rate. Right, and can you, and, and, and can you be better off right now and get an arm, you know, a five-year lock-in? Here's what's a little funny. Bit the arms aren't that much cheaper right really? now. It's a weird time, but there are buy-down programs. So you can do something called a 2-1 buy-down where you can get the first two years, you, you get the, the rate lower uh, two points in the first year, a point in the second year. But again, the only way people are going to find out about these things, they have to get in contact with a realtor, right. get in contact with a mortgage broker. Don't wait till you just see a house on a Saturday that you say, oh, I like that house, and then call freaking out. It, this takes, takes planning, yeah. especially when you're selling and buying at the same time. That requires a plan. You can't go too fast. Yeah, not much creative financing yeah. uh, out there right now. It doesn't sound like so. When you look at your crystal ball for the next six months of the year, we're in June now, taking us through December. Those numbers still going to be pointing down, you think? So, yes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, not as dramatically. Because remember, rates went up substantially at the end of last May. So the beginning of 2022, sales were still flying high. The second half of 22, sales slowed down. So our sales, month, month to month comparisons as we go through the rest of the year, will be down a bit. They won't be down dramatically because that comparison will be more equal. But, you know, like we were saying before we came on, restaurants got hit hard right. first when COVID hit. Then car dealers got hit hard. They didn't have any inventory. 
Now it's housing. Hey, housing gets unfairly helped when rates go down and unfairly hit when rates go up. And now we're on that side of it. And we just have to wait it out. By the way, you want to point out we got our zip trip season coming yes. up. We're very excited about that. We start here in Dedham a week from Friday. Yeah. So look forward to having you back you on the I'll be there day. chatting about the Dedham market right. and all things South Shore real estate. And we got some big, big surprises that are coming. So give hey, I don't that. know about all the surprises. Ah, that's why it's a surprise. All right. That's why all it's right. a surprise. I'm looking forward to hearing this. <laughs> all right. Let's uh, get a look at what's going on in the road.